Hoarders! Welcome back to Hoarders Heart. On this episode, we are continuing in this laundry room. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder! <laughs> and I show you my messes, and I explain the mentality behind it, and I clean out my rooms in small sections at a time so that it keeps my anxiety calm, and I can stay focused, and I can make decisions and complete the task. So today, I think it's best for today, we kind of work on this section right here going down. This going down to the floor, I think that's a really good goal for me for today. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I dive right in, I have a question for my awesome subscribers. I want your girl's opinion on the wall color because I'm getting very excited about cleaning out this laundry room and having it functional. Now, I'm getting excited to the point where I think I wanna paint the wall, but I'm wondering, should I paint it like a bright sunny yellow, you know, to brighten up the space, right? And then I could keep the floor color and I don't have to paint the cabinets because the sunny warm color you know, we'll still match it and the window treatment. Or, 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 I see all the trendy gray walls in the laundry rooms, and that's very, very tempting to have like a nice warm gray color, and that would look really pretty. But I would have to then probably paint that white. Uh, the door would probably have to be white. I would need a new window treatment. I would keep the floor. But I'm just debating and I just wanted your guys' opinion because it's like I don't want to spend too much money. But I do, after all of this work, I really want it to look nice. Because I have been watching so many uh, organizational people's like videos on laundry rooms and different rooms. And oh my god, they're so cute. Because they'll go like this, right? They'll go, oh girl, look, I can't believe I'm showing you my mess. Here's my mess, real life. And I think they're the cutest thing because I'm like, girl... Your real life is my best day. <laughs> like, I want your real life messes. <laughs> like, let me show you a real mess, girl. Here we go. There you go. This is what real messes look like. No, I'm sorry. I'm just being funny, but I think they're the cutest. But yeah, I would love to hear your opinion on that. What your girls think? Sunny yellow or like that pretty warm trendy gray? All right, guys, let's get serious now. <laughs> We're diving right in. Right on top is, yes, I don't know if I can record that good. So this is the first day of school sign that needs to be cleaned off. But I use this every first day for my boys. I've had this for a long time because I have used this since my oldest, you know, went to kindergarten is when I got this. So 2013. So I always know it's over here. So I'm going to keep it here because that's how I know that it always is. Okay. And right here, I have a bag. And you know what? This is so perfect because I have a birthday present that I have to, I want to give to my cousin. And this is the perfect size bag. It's in great condition. It's not torn up. We're using that today. So it's going out of here. This is, oh God, look how cute. <gasps> All right. So these are obviously little shoes that I was selling. And it looks like I sold it to somebody and she changed her mind. Uh, this is normally was my landing area kind of for people who are picking up from the Facebook marketplace. But I know, I know that I can sell these again. So maybe I should wait for the yard sale, put it in the yard sale pile, and then we'll do that. All right, let's kind of move along over here. This bag is old. Oh my gosh. All right. This bag has random stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, glowing. Glowing of interesting. Um... Do you know how old this is? I could tell you this right now because look, here's rainbow looms. This is actually their 2014. This is about right. I have to hide that. I don't want to show our address. I bet you this bag is from 2014 because we had a lemonade stand for, uh, uh, we were a part of something called Our Children Making Change. And oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh. Look, there's a bunch of tattoos. That my, my youngest loves these tattoos. And there was, and I'll have to give away the girl ones. So what it is is that the kids would, um, it was a great summer program when they were younger that I put them in. It was my children making change. 
and oh my gosh pokemon and what they do is they raise money for their favorite charities so i can see addresses in here guys i'm going to have to kind of go through this off camera but it just shows oh my gosh it just shows how old this is this has been sitting around since 2014 and i never made decisions today is the day we're making decisions <laughs> okay so continuing on very faded scrapbooking paper that half of me is like wants to keep and the other half is like girl recycle it you can you can let it go it's okay this might have our address on the other side so i'm not gonna flip it around and i'm trying to see what is this i don't know what this is i'll have to go through it i guess it was some kind of I don't know. <laughs> I'm just afraid to show it because I don't want to show our address. And right here, oh wait, let's go with this. A little crochet thing. I feel good letting that go. We can donate uh, that. A paintbrush that has definitely seen some better days. Ooh, that paintbrush. I'm going to put in the garage. I'll let my husband decide. <laughs> he can decide. I don't want to decide. A brand new little guitar thing that can go in the gift uh, bin that I created. I did create a gift bin, guys. Oh, and a sweet subscriber did suggest. Ah, I got it. I can't remember her name, but she said do two bins for gifts. One for your boys and one for other people. And I thought, yes, girl, you are organized. Thank you for helping. Oh, my youngest can do this now. Perfect for him. Looks like my oldest started, but my youngest loves math, so we can do that. What's this? An, an Iron Man book? Oh my gosh. So much stuff, seriously. And a notebook. Let's see. And a brand new notebook. Well, that goes in the school supply bin. I have a good feeling that I'm going to be able to shop most of my Christmas or most of my um, back to school supplies right in my house. Oh my God, a brand new little popsicle thing. And on my youngest bucket list, he wanted to make popsicles. I never bought the popsicle things. Good thing I didn't. Here we go. Shopping in my laundry room. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, plastic bags. Clearly a tossy tossy. Get it out of here. This is a tossy tossy. Yep, goodbye. Oh my God. This is, uh, okay, this is sentimental. Here we go. Okay, it looks like a simple 4th of July hat, right? I have a picture of my youngest as a baby with his little hat on with his little, oh my God, he looks so cute. <laughs> and you know darn well, I'm going to put it with my 4th of July supplies because it's sentimental and I'm, I'm not ready guys. I'm just not ready. <laughs> Move this box because clearly this is all photos. So I know that we can put that in the photo thing. Now this box, let me, what is this? There's a lot of Trotsky. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's a brand new candle. I probably bought it and with the intention of giving it as a gift and never did. Never, never did. How old is this? I'm curious. Let me hide. All right, 2016. You see that? August, August 3rd, 2016. It was like, it looks like it was like $1.24. And of course, I bought it because it was on sale. But let's, ooh, ooh, let's tossy tossy this stuff and put this into the gift bin. That'll be good. And guys, there's, oh my God, there's so much little stuff in here. What, Polly Pockets, I can give that to, oh, I'll give this to my niece. I don't even know why this is in here, but she'll like it. She's up now visiting, so I will give it to her. Guys, the amount of little stuff, like, what is this? Oh my God, a little Spider-Man book that he had, oh, he had already colored in, oh, heartstrings, keep moving, keep moving. Uh, this can clearly go in the craft bin. This guy's right here, this one's gonna be very, very sentimental. Uh, this is my oldest book and he loved these kind of books, so I'll put them with all the other books, but no, nah, I'm not ready to get rid of that. I can tell you that right now. Oh, instructions to my kitchen aid stand. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. I just got to figure out where to put it because it's like you save that stuff and then it's like, it's just more clutter. It still is. I mean, guys, look at all of this little stuff. I might have to speed. All right, guys, I'm sorry I had to cut through that. Uh, my, my son's pictures were in there. So I think I may, guys, have to speed through this because a lot of this is receipts. Look, I can put that in the craft bin toys there is so much little chotsky stuff in here that it's crazy i mean clearly tossy tossy right that's a tossy tossy 
but it's so much. And this video is going to be an hour long if I give you a full, like, disclosure about it. But holy moly, always toys everywhere. So I'm going to speed clean through this, uh, the rest of this uh, mangled box. <laughs> got to the end of that box. That box was a lot of little kid stuff. It really was. A lot of Legos were at the bottom. And look, this was in here as one of the tossy tossy things. 2014. I guarantee you that's how long that box with all that stuff has been sitting there. It has been sitting there from 2014 because it was either I ran out of room, I didn't want to make a decision because I wanted to keep it all, and I just squirreled it away in the laundry room. But continuing on, this is what was underneath of it. And this is like one of those bags, right? So here's one of those bags that you get like the free community days. So they're always like, here, have our bag with our logo. And I'm sure there's a bunch of, yep, as you can see, little, oh my God, chapstick, which now I wouldn't be surprised if this is like five years old, you know, like, and crafts. I am, I always, always, used to get all the little bags with all the little stuff as like a souvenir for the kids. Always did that. Now I feel good letting it go. And we just went to another community thing and I didn't, I, I did my best and I didn't really pick up anything except like a Frisbee because my son wanted the Frisbee. All right. Um, uh, I can tell I'm starting to get to the end of my being able to, to clean out because uh, I kind of want to keep this. <laughs> I'll let it go. I'll let it go. And Tossy Tossy streamers. Ah, ha, ha, look what I found. You know we couldn't go too long without ribbon. Oh, yeah, some more ribbon. <laughs> and then, oh, my gosh, it's another washcloth. This is clearly Tossy Tossy. Uh, okay. Oh, God, this is, like, stuck. Okay. That was stuck. That goes in crafts. Uh, we can let that go. Okay. And, oh, geez. Look what's at the, oh, boy. Look what's at the bottom of this. I know why I uh, put this to the side. Uh, a lot of stuff when they were little. Look, did you guys remember, I don't know if you can even still see that, Wally. Look, it's a Wally thing because when my oldest was little, he loved Wally. Oh, man, you guys, look, this is a lot of baby, like, silverware things. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, easy, they're older, let it go. Oh, this one's hard. This one's hard. Like, I can donate this one. I feel good. I'll have to wash it. I feel good letting that one go. That's fine. We can let that go. Um, We can toss that. Oh, sorry about that. The problem is when you record with your phone, sometimes people call you <laughs> while you're recording. Oh, guys, some of this stuff, uh, look, their little drying rack. I mean, this is tossy, tossy. I feel good. We can recycle this. I mean, I can recycle this. This is hideously dirty. And even if I do have another baby, uh, even if I have another baby, I'll buy a new one, right? You don't want an old funky dunky one. Hey, this is recyclable tossy tossy that's easy transformable i feel good letting that go i do um oh my god i feel good letting this go too i know my son got this for his birthday and i loved it because it was a glitter water bottle but my god i have so many water bottles i don't know what to do with it all i feel good recycling that we're good um let me see, guys. A number two candle. Hey, I use these. This needs to be cleaned out. I don't know how that got in there. These too. I use these. Hey. <laughs> this, if I can find the lid, I'll definitely let it, like, wash it and let it go. Uh, yeah, that's what a lot of this is. Some looks like some cramps from the kids. Uh, oh, okay. So this goes to this. Okay. This is really nice. I should like sell this or give it away because with the back, well, it's Monster U. I don't know if people will still want Monster U, but you know how expensive these things are? These suckers are expensive. I might have to put it up on the online yard sale site, put it real cheap, wash it real good though, like really good. 
put it real cheap for like two dollars like hey these things go for like what ten bucks or something at least minimum yeah guys see oh this is hard okay that's not that's easy oh, some more i can't even get the pendant that's a oh wait look okay so that's easy happy happy st patrick's day we could put that where it needs to go uh, oh okay what's What's in here? Ooh! Oh, it's a folder! Ooh! It's <laughs> brand new! <laughs> I do like it. When did I buy it? 2014! <laughs> That's when I bought this pretty sparkle folder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's how old a lot of this stuff is. Oh, you guys, like, I'm fine with tossing, tossing this. Oh my gosh, a Nemo cup. How cute is that? No, we, we don't. We can let go of the Nemo cup. We needn't hold on to these. These, I feel good recycling these. I don't have an emotional attachment to yet. Oh, I do, however, have an emotional attachment to this. I know, I know, it's a dirty baby spoon, why? The reason why I hold on to these things is because I feel an emotional attachment to it. I really do. Like, I feel like if I get a, give away the spoon, I'm giving away those memories of them being a baby and me feeding them. I know, crazy, right? But that's how I feel. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I mean, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good letting go of a lot of this stuff. The baby spoon, I don't. The rest, I'm okay. I'm okay with letting that go. And then before this falls, let's see. Well, you know, I'm keeping this and putting it in my party bin. <laughs> and this, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, you know, I'm keeping this. Uh, this is tossy, tossy, probably the receipt tip, but oh, the little umbrellas, like brand new. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to keep that. Okay. So that's a keeper. And again, I feel good letting this go. What's going to, let's see. Whoa, what fell? Things fell. Okay. Oh, wait. This kind of fell. Okay. What's in here? Brand new stuff in here. Let's see. What's in? Oh, my gosh. Oh, a lighter. That shouldn't be in there. And I was actually going to go buy a new lighter. But, hey, good. There's one. Uh, glitter paint. I don't even know if that's even still good because I'll have to see. Let's see. And tea lights. So I'll put that with crafting. I feel like most of the time I look for crafting things. And then a receipt. Let's see how... Oh, shoot. Did I show? It might have showed my name. Well, it's old. <laughs> there we go. I see it. I bought that in October 15, 2013. That was when I bought that, that I just showed you. The tea light and the lighter. Yep, that's when I bought it. This is a tossy tossy. Holy moly. All right, so now it's just like odds and ends cleaning. All right, guys. So there's the floor. yoo -hoo! <laughs> And then I just got to move these paper towels out of the way. I'm not going to mess with this. <laughs> this is the next episode. But I will get what's right in front of there. So this was like mega block. So I feel like we can... Oh my God, I'm having a little anxiety though letting it go though. I feel like I should let this go. But I can feel my anxiety is like, ah, I don't want to. You know what? I think I know why. It's because I think towards the end of the video, I feel like I've let so much go that that feeling of increased of loss because like a, a hoarder feels a huge sense of loss when you let certain things go. I feel like I'm letting so much stuff go that that's why towards the end of the video is I'm like, too much, we're good. That's all I can handle. <laughs> so yeah, so for now, I'm gonna put it in the kids' room. I feel like I will eventually let that go. I feel like I do, I would. And even this, I feel like, I I don't feel too attached to this one. I feel like that can go in a yard sale. Let it go. And then this looks like it's just papers. Oh my gosh. Legit just, oh, there's some stuff. I was going to say, it looks like it's just plain paper. But I mean, let's get that out of the side. And oh, this is um, those little uh, tiles so I could put that in the crafts. And then this we can tossy tossy. And this, I it's uh, it's a wooden dial. Um, uh, okay, we'll call it go. But yay, look! <laughs> There's a floor, so I just kind of need to clean that up a little bit, like, well, not a little bit, a lot, because it's legit, like, five years probably since it's seen it, but yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> okay, so you're probably wondering, where did all the crap go? <laughs> well, here are some of my categories that I have. So this right here that's getting donated, that's getting out of here. 
over here is more canvas bags and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the canvas bags together and then decide which ones I want to give away which one I want to keep this right here has to go in the kids room this over here are plastic bags that are getting recycled that goes in the school bin this goes into the kids sentimental which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two big tubs one for each child and just start putting all the schoolwork into one tub so I can see everything that I have Woo. this over here is going in the gift bin this goes in the party bin there's a bunch of legos that we had found so i'm going to go ahead and put that away and then that's the tossy tossy box there's a lot going on in there i'm going to recycle stuff and separate it out with paper but that's a pretty big tossy tossy box i had to admit i wish does it look big in the camera because it really is ah. <laughs> and then this over here is my Operation Christmas Child bin that I'm gonna create so that I, that's near and dear to my heart so we can fill the shoe boxes come in November. I already have a bunch of stuff to fill those boxes and bring joy to some children across the world. And let me go show you the laundry room. All right, here's the crafting bin. And of course we put some things in there today. Not much bulky stuff, but things definitely went into our craft bin. Here is the ribbon bin, the, the ever growing ribbon bin, but we only had two go in there today. So, okay, not bad. Couple of little things did end up going into the kids summer stuff and we got to put some better dents in that thing. <laughs> I'm not keeping up with the kids and aren't keeping up with how much stuff goes in there every episode. But let's, let's walk on over. Whoa, look at that. Holy moly. You can walk right up to it. There's the wall. <laughs> So that looks really good. Let me back up a little bit. Yes, this looks very, very nice. So I'm very happy on how this is looking, uh, how it's looking. So guys, you know what? I think I'm gonna wrap up this video and I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I'll get you next time, bye.